Hi there, my awesome friends. So I'm very excited to teach you something really fun and pretty with metal tape today. And we are using the 70 micron tape. And today we're going to create little flowers. So I thought I would show you my process. And these can be used on your tags. So it will be part of the Taper Tag Challenge. And for those of you who don't know what the Taper Tag Challenge is, please go and look on Facebook and join the group Taper Tag. <coughs> I'm sorry, I always seem to cough as soon as I start talking. What is it? So I have um, practiced quite a bit and done a few techniques. And this is the most simple one that you can make with things you have generally at home, especially if you're a crafter. And for the ladies that are doing the tag challenge, your um, die cuts. We're going to use die cuts and we're going to use fabric flowers. Okie jokey. So using whatever tape you have, I'm using the 20 centimeter wide thin metal tape. I'm going to show you how I mass make things because I'm like a production line. I think I've mentioned that to you before. I like to do a lot of things at once, not just one or two. And sometimes I'll, I'll make a whole lot of tags or a whole lot of embellishments or ephemera. And then I put it aside and it comes up at some stage where I will need them. So nothing's ever wasted. So using your uh, craft knife, only lift half of what you're going to be utilizing. Only lift the backing off. And I place my, these are the die cuts, and you can see they're a little bit thicker than normal paper. So they are what we call cardstock. And place a few of the flowers. I'm not going to use that one, it's quite ugly. Few of the cardstock flowers on there. Now the fabric flowers are very fine and very thin. So the impression you're going to get from them is not that clear, but they still work out lovely. Just make sure you're doing it in good lighting. So just push your fabric flowers. Oh down carefully. You can see they really are flimsy but this is such a cool trick. Um, somebody in another group said to me I must go and watch Carmen. I have no idea who Carmen is. I've tried to google Carmen and flowers but nothing came up so I don't know. This is my process. I haven't seen anyone else doing it at all so I hope it helps you. Okay I've now put my flowers down and I'm going to cover it. I find it much easier, instead of pulling everything off, to pull a little bit at a time. Fold it over. There you go. And then pull the backing off. Okay. Much easier to do it that way, than uh, especially if you're working with the wide tape. And because it isn't crumpled, it's quite difficult and it turns onto itself, as I'm sure you're all aware. Those of you who have used the thin wire tape, using your card again, smooth it down really well. You want your tape to stick to your flowers. And we put them between two layers of tape so that you, your backing is also silver. Um, the one video that I did see, and I cannot remember who did it, only covered the front side of the flowers so there you go We're going to do that and then using our paper stamp we'll go around everything and I, I think my light is not brilliant but I think you can see the imprints just from the from using the card so the flower the fabric flowers you can see are really faint the die cuts definitely have more definition so go across everything with your paper stamp and I'm not going to do all of that so there you go you can see already the definition is coming I'm going to just work on one flower here for you to show you what I've done so giving it a nice good wrap 
I really wish my light was was better today, but it's a grey day outside. But there you go, you can see. And then using one of my tools or your ballpoint pen, you go around the edges or the outline of your flower. And I'm only going to do this on one for you. It's really important to do this because you are um, sort of forcing the back and the front metal tape to really bond together, if you know what I mean, by outlining it. And then draw some lines or squiggles or patterns or whatever you like on your flower. And I'll do a squiggle in the middle. Okay, so you can see I have decorated that flower. Okay, I will then decorate all of these flowers. Trace around the outlines, do some doodles in the middle, and then I will ink the whole sheet with my fat black Sharpie. Ink the entire sheet. Okay, so we've done that. I've prepped a whole lot of flowers for you. I'm going to show you how I did the process to give them a little bit of a raised effect. You can see they're not flat flat. You can obviously use them flat, but I thought I will save some time and not show you all of that. So remember, you've inked them, you've taken your nail buff, you've buffed the ink off, and then you're sitting with pieces that look like this. So we are going to fussy cut them out. And when I fussy cut, I leave a small little border. If you have a look there, I'm not cutting right on the edge. I'm cutting just on the, on the edge of where I drew my line. So I'm having a little border and I cut very weirdly, especially when you're going into corners. You'll see I cut from one side and then I cut from the other. But obviously you cut the way you want. And I have tried to use my um, craft knife, but I prefer to have my scissors in my hand. They just give me a little bit of better control. Okay. And so that's what I'll do. I will go around everything and leave a little border as you can see okay so that's half fussy cut i'm not going to cut the whole lot out for you because it's so boring so this is one that i have already completed as you can see it's flat i do not ink the back so how do i get them to be a little bit raised so first things first i take one of my tools because i'm not going to go and search for a pen but anything that is rounded you can curve your leaves can you see on that rounded thing the body of the pen or the body of the tool okay and i curve all my leaves on that so look there can you see They're nicely curved that one's not so good and already i've got a little bit of depth and push it down in the middle. How cute is that? And this is exactly what I've done with this one. So this one, I took my fat ball tool, fat ball tool, and in my hand, I rubbed it like this with my fat ball tool, like so. And this was a fabric flower, and then when I put it down on the firm surface, I did that, and it, look how it popped. Okay, same thing with this one. I just used my ball tool, you can work on a piece of cloth if you want. If you don't want to work in your hand, I worked in my hand. Ball tool. And then when I put it down, I drew the, the lines there to give it some more definition so that you've got your raised little petals, which look so cute. Okay, and basically the same thing with that. Okay, here we have an irregular flower, which was in fact one of the fabric flowers that I used. I quite like it. Um, and I thought what you can do to add a little bit more interest is to actually 
if you want to, you can layer them. So let's take this little one. What I wanted to show you specifically with this one is that I have cut down towards the center because I want the little petals to be able to lift. Can you see? So just play and see what you can do there. So we're lifting all the little petals and then once again, I'm going to, because this is a small flower, I'm going to use a smaller chopstick or skewer to roll these little petals. As I say, you can use them flat, um, but I love just adding this little bit of dimension. And it seems to me the fabric and the um, paper work just as well. So how sweet is that? A little bit of dimension and just squeeze it in the middle. And you've got another flower. So what would be really sweet is to layer them, as I said. Look how nice that will look layered. And then you can put a jewel in the middle or a little bit of glitter. Um, oh, the options are endless. But I think these little flowers are so cute. And I can't wait to see what you create. Please share with us on Taper Tag Challenge. And have a lot of fun, girls.